The massive San Joaquin Delta is the hub of the state's water supply, and it's overrun with invasive weeds. The state is about to begin its yearly fight to get rid of them. Thanks so much for staying with us here at 530. I'm Hunter Sowers. And I'm Tony Lopez. CBS 13's Kayla Moller is live in Walnut Grove, getting answers on why the state says it's a battle they will never win, Kayla. Yeah, so if you take a look behind me, believe it or not, there is actually water underneath that giant blanket of plants. And that's exactly what the California's Division of Boating and Waterways is trying to combat. So starting March 6, crews from that division will be out spraying herbicides by boat, truck, and even drone to help control the spread of 10 invasive plants that are interfering with the Delta's own native plants. The treatment process will last all the way until the end of November, but it still won't get rid of them all. There are 10 pesky plants that keep showing up in the Delta. They're non-native and invasive. Most of the plants probably came here through ornamental trade, or they were a part of uh, plants that were imported for aquariums, and then they were either put into the waterways, maybe dumped into the waterways. There are six underwater plants and four floating plants that California State Parks Division of Boating and Waterways have been spraying with a combination of chemicals, including Roundup, to help control their spread. The most common of the 10 are water hyacinth, water primrose, and the curly leaf pondweed. Herbicide is the primary tool that this program uses, and that's because it's the most effective that we can use on the with the, with the limited resources that we're given. I don't know what uh, herbicide they're using, but I got to believe that it's going to end up in our f food chain because whether it, it, it ends up on the water or downstream or in the air, they'll land on our food and our crop products. Gene Culver has been running a boat mechanic shop for 46 years. He says he's quite familiar with the yearly treatments and says they just aren't working. Mother Nature's got a, uh, a protective design to where the more man tries to eradicate, the stronger the plant will become against, for instance, if they try to kill it with some kind of herbicide, it'll become sensitive or tolerant. DBW says they don't have the resources to fully eradicate the invasive plants, so they're aiming for control and targeting warmer areas where these plants tend to thrive. The reason our program kind of exists is to support the economy, the environment, and the public health, and inv invasive plants impact all of that. The program must adhere to strict guidelines from various agencies, including the United States Environmental Protection Agency. If there are people in the area or likely to be in the area from any information that we get, we avoid treating that area. The Delta is extensive. A lot of little inlets, kind of like this one, where these plants can hide. And that's exactly what Gene Culver said is the problem. Due to that lack of resources, places like this tend to get left out. The DBW says they focus on accessibility, so they first clear areas like boat ramps and marinas.